Hi, Jay. What about getting back with an ex? Better timing, perhaps. Okay, so there's this saying. It's, a you know, uh, timing. Look, at, as far as getting back with an ex, I guess the question is, do they want to get back with you? You know, it's one thing you want to get back to them. But if you're going to choose to get back together, then what's your fucking plan? Okay, because there was a reason why your relationship ended. What are you going to do to heal the ch challenges that caused you to break up. Now, it might have been that he was a train wreck. Okay, I get that. And sometimes we want to come back to the well. But I want to highly recommend you have a plan and you do some serious vetting to make sure that you're both on the same page because ladies, okay, let me just say something. This is really important. So listen up, listen carefully. Most dating advice is centered around attraction attraction. In other words, how do you develop attraction and basically centered around chemistry? Okay. So great. Attraction. How do you create attraction? Be friendly, be smile, wear a nice dress, you know, just be friendly, smile, wear a nice dress. You're attractive. I get it. Brush your hair, have a big smile, make up all that stuff, right? You're attractive. I get it. Okay. Now, you start dating. He's attractive. He's six foot two, full head of hair, handsome, has got a great job. Oh, wait, am I describing myself? Just kidding. All right, that was a little ego braggadocious coming out. I'll own it. Okay, so now you're attracted to one another and you're dating for that six weeks only to find out his actions don't match his words. He doesn't have empathy. He is in victim consciousness. He's not very transparent and he doesn't know how to resolve conflicts. This is because most people focus on attraction and not what I talk about, and that is pre-qualifying your prospect, vetting for emotional maturity, determining who's truly compatible with you and asking the right questions. Ladies, the biggest problem with dating and men, men if you men are listening to this as well, is Doug on, is learning how to ask the right questions. The other day, I um, not too long ago, I was interacting with a woman and I said, screw it. I'm just going to go through my laundry list of questions on the phone. And after we got through it, I realized she's not right for me. So I didn't get dressed up for a date. I didn't drive for a date. I didn't only to, you know, because here's what would happen. Got dressed up, picked a place, drove for a date, paid for a date. We would add chemistry. We would have dated for a few weeks. We would add sex. And I would have realized I would have broken up with her because she's not right for me. So do the same for yourself. I want to encourage you to ask better questions. And if you need some support, that's what I do. Check out in the description, the discovery call with me. All right. Um, so anyways, I got off on a tangent. By the way, I sometimes go off on tangents. It's what I do. Leaf says, I agree with you 100%. Thank you, Leaf. 